What's up everybody, welcome back to the Proto Art. So while I talk, I'm gonna have this video of me drawing playing in the background. I'm basically making this video because I posted a piece of artwork in a similar art style and got a lot of crazy replies and backlash uh, with some people thinking it was some kind of Photoshop preset or an action and assumed uh, it was a few different programs. So rather than just uh, going back and forth, I'd rather just show the process of me drawing in Procreate, which did take a lot of time. Um, I wanted to check out some of the programs that people did mention though and wondered if they actually can mimic the same style and if they do I would you know love to check them out and save some time and if you can think of some other actions or programs that can do this leave them in the comments below um, maybe I can do a review and you know see how they hold up anyway um, in this video I'm gonna be checking out some ones that people did mention including uh, studio artists snap art uh, Topaz, Clean Vector Converter, uh, another one was called Avatar Photoshop Plugin, and a handful of other Photoshop, Photoshop uh, actions. Uh, there were a few free ones and some that were really pricey, so I hope you do enjoy this video. Um, I will also be covering things like uh, the smart actions that these various programs include with them um, and it's kind of interesting to see how they uh, are constructed um, but with all that being said uh, here's a quick picture of a book that I came across fairly recently um, that just has a lot of gorgeous artwork and it's by you know it's masterfully done the the line art and the hatching that was done in this book is incredible so if you come across this um, or find something similar, I implore you to hold on to it because it's something that you'll always use and can incorporate in your own artwork and learn from. With all that being said, let's dive into it and check out the first thing. My oil paint look, which people had mentioned. Um, so hit the little play button and that's it. That's all that look does. It just kind of makes it look like an oil painting. If you don't have the action on your version of Photoshop, this kind of replicated that for free. You can download it on my uh, Gumroad account, or I also believe I have it linked to one of my old videos. Um, moving right along. This next one I found on uh, DeviantArt. I'm gonna slaughter the artist's name, but check out his page. His art's really uh, amazing. Um, but it's spelled E-G-U-L-U-M-S-E. Uh, really cool artist and he made this really cool threshold uh, Photoshop actually here we go oh that didn't take long at all okay uh, that was in real time <laughs> so that's one version of this thing my bad <laughs> but hitting this little button the end result turned out pretty good um, some of these work better than others some would make a decent uh, thumbnail like that one's actually not bad. Uh, if you were to take this into Illustrator, you can kind of get a similar similar look to this. But yeah, that was his. Again, I'll put a link to that in the comments or uh, the description below and move right along. Vector Maker Photoshop Action. A lot of these have similar titles, uh, so it was kind of hard to know which one to recommend <laughs> I, I had to try a few out just to see what worked best and i guess you're painting out the area that you don't want to show cool so there's your vectorized version vector illustration all right let's try this out hit play uh, some of these require you to make a layer called brush, some have an air, a thing called area, so if you hit play and it doesn't work, make sure you kind of read through. Um, for example, see just the next one I was about to do. I hit the little drop down button there to kind of expand it, and you can tell because it says select area, so that tells me that you need to make a, a layer called area, and basically you're painting the selected region that you want to have affected by the um, Photoshop action. Let me hit play now that that's all set up correctly. Boom. 
Vector Sketch Photoshop Action. What will you do? Okay, so we're back. That took a little longer than I expected. Um, again, uh, I'm going to have to go on time lapse a lot in this video because it's just some of these will take longer than others, even though my system is not that slow. Yeah, you'd have to go in here and fine tune it a little bit, but I could see how this could be usable. You can kind of like still salvage a decent image from that thing. This one's called Vector Look Action by Hoisman. His stuff on uh, um, Graphic River is really cool. So if you haven't checked this guy's stuff out, very talented artist. So hit play. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so we need a layer called brush. So it's lowercase, labeled brush, hit play. All right, this may be a time-lapse situation. So be prepared. All right. Oh no. <laughs> So we want li uh, less white area. So we'll move the slider to the right, right? Cause to the left would be more white. All right. So just some of the highlights, I guess. Hit okay. Click the continue button if you want to make a background effect. Let's do that. What you got? Finish. Well, you're welcome, sir. Cool. Check out the stuff. If you haven't, again, I, I'm probably pronouncing it terribly, but it's spelled H-A-I-C-A-M-O-N. A lot of cool stuff on Graphic River. Not sponsored by them, but they have a lot of cool stuff. All right. Vectorized cartoon painting action. I think we could just hit play. We'll find out. Oh. Okay. Not too bad. Again, here's the uh, original artwork. That was getting... Uh, uh, that's a preset, I guess, somewhere. Uh, again, if you find something that can make this, please let me know, man. Save me some time. All right. On to the next one. Here we go. So this one's called Vector Version 2 Painting Photoshop Action. So it says just play. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Here we go. Vector Art Pro. So this one looked interesting from the thumbnail tested it out on a different picture looked okay let's see how this see how this works that's it okay I uh, kind of was expecting a little more. <laughs> you know, I'm not mad at it. It's not the worst looking one. All right. Make a new layer. Call it brush. Hit play. So far, no Photoshop plugins kind of recreating the same look. It has some really cool thumbnail looking ones so far. Um, um, oh, okay. The end result's not too bad, uh, you know, not even, uh, not even mad at that. Okay, so let's minimize this. So it's black and white. Okay, so it looks like there's a ton of color presets. We definitely use. see how you'd be able to use this to make a starting point. That line work looks a little, like, wonky, though. I like the color scheme that this thing has. All right, not mad. Moving on to the last of the Photoshop stuff. Uh, this one was a plugin. It's called Avatar Vector Creator. So it's going to make another layer. Um, you can fine tune it, select just a face or body, whatever, if you want. And then hit convert to vector. Yeah, these aren't bad you know it's not the same as drawing it by hand and having the control over you know everything but I can see how you can use some of these to kind of 
use for starting points. That'd be the best way I'd go about it if I was gonna try the preset route. I would use the preset, but still have to fine tune it myself and add my own flavor to it. So, okay. That's all the plugins and stuff people have talked about uh, in Photoshop. So let's check out these other programs. All right, first up on the list of applications that uh, I guess can make the look that I made uh, is Super Vectorizer 2. I don't know. Are you guys seeing this similar style? Okay. Um, I mean, it's creating some interesting looks. Again, I can see how these can kind of be used uh, for like a starting point. On to the next one. We will check out Topaz Clean. Diving back into Photoshop, because Topaz is a uh, filter, apparently create a cartoon-like effect with this thing. So let's hit the little cartoon button. Cartoon detailed. Zoom out to maybe, what does it give me? 50%? Okay. Well, I don't know about you guys, I'm not really seeing a similar style that this achieves. Let's move on to SnapArt. So we are now in SnapArt 4. So I can see how you can kind of get close to the same look. You'd have to kind of layer it up in a certain order. That one ain't bad. That was pretty cool. That's pretty close. Um, so far, this is probably the closest one I saw. I'm trying to see how I could recreate my art using these applications in question. If you're just now tuning in. And I think last on the list is Studio Artist. I've literally gone through all these applications that people have mentioned in presets. And the closest one I got so far was a... Uh, the snap art, I think, so far. So next up is a studio artist. I just want to give a quick shout out to a few channels and uh, that have been super crucial in educating me in my art and really are super beneficial for every artist, honestly. If you haven't heard of them before, I'd recommend you check out Mark Crilly, Alfonso Dunn, Proko Panko, uh, Drawing with Waffles, Jazza, and those, they, they cover a ton of fundamentals with drawing, uh, all the basics and intermediate and even some advanced skills. Um, and channels like Flurin for Photoshop learning, uh, teaching you the fundamentals from that too. And with those and all those skills I've acquired from those channels, I've been able to do jobs that never would have thought I've been able to do, like photo retouching, designing album artwork and stuff like that. Uh, so I just want to kind of give them the recognition that they deserve because they have been extremely benefit, you know, um, useful in my learning. Um, considering I wasn't able to draw like a stick figure four or five years ago, and now I'm able to do a hyper realistic Hulk versus Thor, uh, drawing that was based off of a toy <laughs> is, it's something I'm proud of. Um, cause like I said, I never would have been able to do it before. Uh, but if you are an artist who likes to use presets, like I'm playing in the background, uh, Photoshop actions and presets, you know what? You do you, man. If it makes you happy, you continue doing that because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. And if it makes you happy and helps you get through the day, um, I just wanted to say go for it, man. But I do think starting off traditionally will help you kind of grow faster as an artist. But you can learn a lot uh, from uh, outside of YouTube, like I'm showing in the background, these books, I'm trying to incorporate more of their line art style. Uh, this is from like some uh, classic artworks uh, mentioned earlier in this uh, video. Uh, so I'm still learning myself there, but yeah. Just a reminder for everyone to be nice to each other because you don't know what the next person is going through, uh, whether it's, you know, stressors from the day, mental health issues, you know, the madness of going on uh, out in the world right now. It, it doesn't take any effort from you just to be nice to the next person. With that being said, I will talk to you all soon. Stay safe, be healthy, and yeah. All right, you guys.